Have you ever met someone who's in their late 40s or early 50s and thought, wait, there's no way they're that age? Well, what's their secret? Is it expensive diet, skincare, genetics, or something deeper? Well, today we're going to talk about that. My name is Gunika and I'm a first year BDS student and today's video we're going to deep dive into some really fascinating anti-aging secrets which you don't even know exist. So I started the video by asking you guys a question that how do these people who are in their late 40s or early 50s manage to look so young? It's because they've managed to reduce or slow down their cellular aging, their biological aging. That is why it is uh, that's the reason why they look so young. There are many options available in the market that can slow down your cellular aging. Um, for example, hormone replacement therapy and when it comes to natural compounds like um, resveratrol, quercetin. But anyway, today's video is not about this. We are going to be talking about these compounds or elements later on in the coming videos. Today's video is actually about a special molecule called NMN and NAD. So let's get into the video. I hope you guys enjoy watching. We are also going to be talking about uh, mitochondria and how uh, mitochondrial dysfunction can lead to aging and uh, oxidative stress can lead to aging. Now what is mitochondria? Mitochondria is an organelle which is present in the cells in our body. It helps in producing energy in the form of ATP. ATP is called adenosine triphosphate. Mitochondria is present in all the cells of our body. So now, if there's any dysfunction in the functioning of the mitochondria, or there's insufficient energy that the mitochondria is producing, then obviously our tissues and organs won't work efficiently, right? So the condition in which the mitochondria does not work efficiently is called mitochondrial dysfunction. Now, what are some other diseases that mitochondrial dysfunction can lead to? It is uh, fatigue, seizures and um, you know like a lot of oxidative stress can also lead to uh, mitochondrial dysfunction in our body. Now why am I talking about mitochondrial dysfunction and how is it related to aging? Actually mitochondria plays a very important role in our cellular aging. If the mitochondria is not working efficiently and producing less amount of energy, there are a lot of side effects that our organs are facing and eventually our cells will uh, start to die and this is how it will lead to aging of the cells and eventually aging, uh, biological aging. Mitochondrial dysfunction and oxidative stress go hand in hand. So if there's any problem here, then it will lead to early aging and cause many other diseases like hyperglycemia, obesity, type 2 diabetes, etc. Mitochondrial dysfunction is one of the hallmarks of aging. As they age, the mitochondria loses their ability to release enough energy in our tissues and harm the mitochondrial DNA. Aging is a degenerative process which is caused by accumulative oxidative stress that leads to cellular dysfunction by producing free radicals. Now comes the most important molecule. And why are we talking about mitochondrial dysfunction so much? Because actually the damage of the mitochondria eventually depletes this very important molecule called NAD. NAD is called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. Now just like mitochondria, NAD is also present in all the cells of our body. Now the part of this NAD that performs essential functions is called NAD plus and helps in reducing our biological age. Now NAD plus has two essential functions. The first being protein regulation. Now in our cells, the protein regulation is actually monitored by NAD plus and along with this, it plays a very important role in maintaining our sleep-wake cycle, our neurological health and um, the health of our vital organs. As people grow older, their NAD plus levels start declining. This may be due to stress, poor diet or less exercise uh, can be some of the reasons for the depletion of NAD plus. And uh, it can also lead to a lot of diseases like um, type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, heart disease, etc. And now another molecule that we are going to talk about is NMN. NMN is also called nicotinamide mononucleotide. This is actually a precursor to NAD+, and it is much more stable than NAD+. Now, like I said that NMN is a precursor to NAD+, so if we boost the synthesis of NMN, it can lead to increase in NAD+, biosynthesis. 
After NMN is absorbed into the bloodstream, it will convert it into NAD+. And further, NAD+, is stored in the muscles and vital organs, helping them function at peak condition. One of the fastest ways to stimulate your body's NAD plus production is to increase the levels of NMN. Why should you take NMN in your dietary supplements? It is because NMN is a precursor to NAD plus. So as you increase the synthesis of NMN in your body, eventually it will lead to a boost in the biosynthesis of NAD plus. And we all know that NAD plus helps in reducing our cellular age. Now you can ask me, why can't we take NAD plus directly as a supplement and why do we have to take NMN instead? It is because NAD plus has a less cellular uptake uh, comparatively uh, than NMN and um, since NMN is more stable, it makes more sense to have NMN in your dietary supplements than NAD plus. Now for this video, I thought I'll show you the supplement and it works efficiently. It is this one. It is an NMN supplement and you can see it has several other compounds like resveratrol, quercetin which we will be talking about in our coming videos. Now a lot of what I've shared uh, in this video comes from this amazing book. It's called Mitochondrial Dysfunction in Biological Aging and Cancer. It deeps dive into the science of cellular aging. It has amazing concepts. If you are someone who loves going beyond surface level knowledge, then this is the book that I would highly recommend you guys to read. Other than these supplements that uh, you know you can take, you can obviously reduce your aging by better lifestyle and better eating habits making sure that your sleep wake cycle is fixed you're doing proper exercise having a good diet and avoiding stress as much as possible because stress is a key factor in reducing your cellular age the supplement that i showed you guys is the one that i prefer but i do not recommend you guys to directly go and start taking these supplements in your day-to-day -day life so first take a medical professional's advice and then go for it um, yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it and a lot of these uh, videos are going to be coming up on my channel and I can just give you a hint on the next video that will come up in this series which is going to be a difference between niacin and vitamin B3 and uh, how it helps us in our day-to-day -day life.